yesterday we arrived in Sarong. This morning we went by ferry from Sarong to a place called Wai Sai. We're on Wai Sai right now and we're getting ready to get in one of these small traditional boats to Maya Libid Bay. We're going to be there for a few days, we do some camping and whatnot. So we're going to provision up, uh, we're going to buy some vegetables, some fruit and a little miscellaneous food. Apparently we're going to be probably fishing and catching some fish for tonight's dinner. But this is a really interesting place. I am in for a real serious adventure here. It's going to be very interesting. We're in West Papua. Stay tuned. It's going to get good. Waigeo Island. This village, as far as I can understand, is called Tiplal, and we're in the Waramak district. We came in last night, we spent the night in this bungalow here, very, very primitive, basic, basic as can be. We're going to be leaving um, probably in about an hour and a half, and we're going to be doing some trekking by land. We're just going to go by foot about a couple hours into the jungle. We're going to set up a base camp, and we're going to be out there for a couple of nights, basically just tenting it, camping. We're going to go out on some, uh, some adventures in and out uh, from the base camp. I've been talking to the, one of the lead guides. Um, he's one of the elders here in the village. And he understands uh, kind of what I'm talking about with snakes. I showed him some photographs and stuff of some different pythons. And uh, he recognized what I was talking about. They have some of their own local names for it. And so I'm really excited because we were actually able to connect. Here's a great example of how cryptic some of these animals can be in the jungle. I almost walked right into this stick insect here. It's not a gigantic one, but it's pretty fair size. There we go right there. I mean, that's, that's pretty cryptic. It doesn't get much better than that. Looks just like a little branch. Just hanging there. They always do that with their front legs. Um, sometimes they'll actually put them together and it'll uh, mimic a stick even more so. All right, let this guy go on about his business and we will too. So we're out here doing some night trekking. We left from base camp and we went down sort of a, a dry riverbed 
and we just happened upon this gecko. It's very, very different. It looks like it's probably a curtidactylus of some sort. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely different. It's not a house gecko by any means. That is really, really cool. And it wasn't on a tree or anything. It was just kind of bouncing along this flat ground here. But man, that is something else. Really, really cool. Lucky to see that. So last night we got out into the darkness a little bit. We found a spot over here. It was kind of a dry, uh, dry riverbed. And I tell you what, it was absolutely perfect for snakes. But unfortunately, we didn't find any. Found a couple little things. Um, it was still really beautiful. It was a really nice evening. It wasn't too hot. We had no rain. Uh, we slept here on the bank uh, last night. And this morning, the guides are going to take us up to a cave. I have no idea which way it is, where we're going. But we're all geared up. Uh, we got our lights and we got fresh batteries and a whole bit with the lights and stuff. So um, hopefully it'll be pretty good. Uh, it's a cave that isn't really visited very often. Those are the ones that we really like. We're already remote um, as can be. So I don't see this going to be a cave where a lot of people go in and out of it at all. So those are the ones, the pristine caves, those are key. So hopefully we're going to find some stuff. So wish us luck. So we obviously just made it to the cave here. We sent one guy up there already. The big, big bass just flying in and out of here. Wow, it's amazing. All right, well, we did what we could. Uh, the last two nights uh, were very interesting. We had a great time. Did not find any snakes, unfortunately. It's not always a guarantee. They're not easy to find. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. There's, uh, the, the one thing that I really notice here is there's a lot of bird life. I mean, it, it's, it's unreal. As soon as the sun comes up, it's like the, the skies open up and these birds are crisscrossing the sky non-stop. It's a lot of cockatoos, parrots, hornbills. The cockatoos in particular are extremely loud and it's, it's, there's never any silence here. I mean, it's always something going on, making noise. And then of course at nighttime, you know, you got the frogs and everything else, the katydids and grasshoppers and things. Uh, you can hear them calling right now. It's, uh, the sun just came up, it's early in the morning. The birds are starting already, but um, you know, we went out at daytime, we did nighttime trekking, uh, checked it all out. We found a lot of small stuff, geckos, uh, tarantulas, that sort of thing. Um, even at nighttime, we uh, got, got our lights and got into the water here and uh, we collected a whole bunch of crayfish and um, oh, that was really tasty. That's some good stuff right there. Uh, the diet here is somewhat bland, so it was really nice to be able to spice it up with something different. So that's about it. We're moving on to the next stop. Um, we're gonna be alongside the ocean next. 
and uh, we're still going to be able to uh, you know, get into some jungle and who knows what we might find, but I'm at a great time. This place is really amazing. All right, more later.